This is more than a storm in a teacup for me. Patrick Reed, Rory McIlroy. This is getting juicy, right? Guys, before we get into the debate on this, please do get involved on the conversation that we're having. Who is in the right? Who is in the wrong? Rory or Patrick Reed? Get down in that comments. I'd love to have a bit of back and forth on this down in the comments as this video goes up. Also, if you are brand new, thank you so much for the support. Please do hit the subscribe button. We post up to five times a week on this channel. So yeah, hit the subscribe button. Okay, so let's talk all you need to know. Rory McIlroy and Patrick Reed. Now, there is a little bit more background to me that meets the eye on this, but we'll get into that after this story. So, let's set the scene. We're in Dubai, the second Rolex event of the year. Big, big money event. Rory's on the range on a Wednesday preparing for the tournament, keeping himself to himself. He's on the range with his caddy and what looks like to be a coach or manager or someone of that description. Now, Rory is actually already on his knees. Looks like he's keeping himself busy. Now, was he keeping himself busy because he saw Patrick Reed come on the range? I'm going to say that probably was the case. Come on. Um, so anyway, Patrick Reed walks onto the range and makes an effort to go over to Rory and his team, to which Rory's caddy shakes his hand. Now, at this point, we can see that Patrick Reed makes an attempt to say something to Rory. Rory straight up blanks him. Reed's calling it child's play. Anyway, he straight up blanks him. So Reed walks away, throws a tee down towards him, and everybody in the whole golfing world has seen this tee fly apart from Rory. Come on, mate. You 100% saw this tee land down towards his feet. Now, who do we think is in the wrong? Should Rory engage? Should he have not? What 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 is going on here? Are we making a storm in the teacup? I think there is more to this. And let me explain this. So Christmas Eve, Rory's sat there having his tea, getting ready for Christmas um, in his home, and receives a subpoena from the lawyer of Patrick Reed. Now, if we go back to 2018, Rory did get beaten by him at the Masters, but I'm sure that's not the case. No, Rory is the head of the advisory council for the PGA Tour, and the PGA Tour are suing Patrick Reed for defamation against them, and uh, our, yours truly, Rory McIlroy, is one of the witnesses in this case. So, I definitely think there is a little bit of needle between these. Yes, they've had some very good battles over the years on the golf course, but up until this point, have probably been pretty good friends, in inverted commas. But it comes down to this. The whole Live, the whole PGA Tour, Rory McIlroy is definitely the face of the PGA Tour, DP World Tour right now, and probably feels like he has um, the bit between his teeth to force his opinion on what is happening right now within the golf world. Anyway, who do we think is in the right? Who do we think is in the wrong? But at this point, who has the upper hand? We've not quite finished round one in Dubai right now, which is going to be sound strange what I'm about to say, and this is real news. There's rain. Rain stopped play this morning, so they started late. But through 16 holes, Patrick Reed is minus four. Two shots ahead of Rory, who has only played 14 holes, but... Nevertheless, who is going to have the upper hand at the end of round one? And who is going to have bragging rights at the end of this tournament? So that is all you need to know. If you did enjoy this video, please do hit the subscribe button. 